Second day on the project today. Yesterday I managed to make all the moves. Uh, first attempt felt really hard, uh, but after that, uh, second attempt felt a lot easier. Uh, still not easy. Uh, the roof segment's definitely the crux, and then once you're through the roof, you just gotta kind of fight the pump until you get past the, uh, the two other mantles. Should be a pretty good day. Condition's probably not that great. It's freaking boiling again. But hey, we're gonna get on with it and hopefully tick this one today. If not, maybe next weekend. today uh, I managed to tick the project at the frog pond uh, absolute epic battle uh, this this route when you first get on it you think this is trash like what am I doing here like you can't it's hard to read it's three-dimensional it's all over the place 
you start, I started like bagging on the bolting. I, it's bolted terribly. You sort out the dog bones to the way they are now, extend the third one, uh, maybe extend the second one uh, and extend the fourth one as well. And it becomes easy to clip. Uh, they're all in good clipping positions. It's really well bolted uh, for you know the type of route that it is because it, it's so steep and kind of odd. Uh, definitely one of the most odd climbs I've been on. So you start up some quite uh, nice, little bit chossy limestone, uh, but uh, I know Marco's been on this one um, quite recently and he cleaned the whole thing up, took as much of the choss off as he could. Uh, yesterday I did manage to pull a whole brick off yesterday, but after that had a check of the whole route and it was, it was completely fine. Um, there's no real chossy holds on it. Holds might break on this one, but that is what it is. Uh, but the crux moves are mostly about compressing against the arete with your heels and with your with your chest. Uh, so you come up some uh, quite yeah uh, some some easy moves to start with until you get to the roof, and then you've got a layback jug hand over hand. From there, you go up to a little crimp uh, on the on the face, kind of a classic slopey crimp. Uh, then you come up into a, another side pull a little bit higher up and you crimp that guy because it's quite small. And then you can come up to another really small crimp and then you basically just pull in on that. And then you're gonna go over your head to the finger jug that's in the roof. From there, you're gonna go across and you're gonna clip. Um, that's probably the only dodgy part of the climb. Like if you did drop it there, you're gonna land on a load of rocks. So it's probably not ideal. Could maybe do with another bolt, but if you put any more bolts in this, just gonna create rope drag. So make sure you're pretty comfortable doing that uh, before you try sending. And then from there, it's game on. You get into that roof. Uh, you go on the uh, left-hand side and then the right-hand side and you just find the best holds you can. There's kind of slopey edges on it, so it actually feels okay. And you put that right heel into the finger jug. From there, you're just gonna go, there's a small crimp, uh, well, like a finger jug crimp thing that you, you grab and then you move your left hand and then you move your right hand again. And then you go left hand onto the arete around the left-hand side and you kind of just use the friction of it from there, you're gonna pull up and lock off on the heel once you've moved into a good position uh, and then go to uh, a finger plate thing that's like a jug. From there, you're gonna make that draw and then it's some big moves and then pretty much the crux is over. Uh, you're gonna pull up, lock off to a quite a big sloper and then from there, just move the foot into a toe and then roll into it and you go into another sloper. That next sloper is where you're gonna start to pump. Uh, the roof taxes you quite a lot and then you get to that sloper and if your endurance, my endurance is fairly good. I train that quite a lot in the gym. I just feel like maybe this weekend I had a, a bad time of it. Um, don't know, maybe I've just been bouldering too much at Northern Rocks <laughs> and uh, haven't been doing as much endurance training. So I started to get pumped on that guy. Basically, uh, just come straight across uh, and come across the roof, real three dimensional, and you just gotta know where the holds are to find them. Um, so you come across and you've got like uh, some finger jugs, you'll roll into a sloper and then come out, make this next draw. You're then gonna go hand over hand. You've got some quite good holds you can just about recoup on. At this point I was cooking, so I just came straight up and then you're gonna bring your feet up quite high and you're gonna come across to the roof. And then from there, you're gonna go straight up and then you've got the real jugs. But by this point, you're really pumped. So even them big jugs might not feel that great. Uh, once you get up there, you'll make that last draw and then you'll kind of move back around the left hand side of the face, hand over hand on jugs and just rock over. I just pulled my feet straight up and just got on with it. Clip that final anchor. Um, absolutely stoked to get the first ascent of this one. Um, yeah, uh, Daniel Krippner put it on to me. Uh, he, he put me onto this one uh, after I did Flight of the Frogs and he said, get stuck into the project. He said it was chossy, didn't climb too well, but I found it to climb really well. Absolutely loved the route. Uh, I didn't like it when I was working it. I absolutely bagged on it for ages. Uh, it took me about an hour to work out the moves. And then on my second go, I made this in, in two segments. So I was like, wow, that actually climbs really well, really well bolted took back all the things I said before. <laughs> but uh, yeah, absolutely stoked. Don't know what I'm gonna name it yet. Um, been tossing up with a few names. Kind of, uh, the face looks like Abraham, Abraham Lincoln's head. So maybe something to do with that. Uh, but before I put this video out there, I'll name it. And uh, yeah, this is 27, 7C. Um, would love someone to come down and give it a second ascent. Um, all the betas there. Uh, if you've got any questions, 
flick me a message and uh, there's definitely a lot of climbers maybe Daniel Scott would want to come down here and get stuck into this one um, and then maybe confirm or uh, yeah do whatever with the grade I don't care it's just a sick route um, I'm just going off what everybody else has said about it Marco said 27 uh, Daniel Krippner before it was cleaned up he said it was maybe 27 28 but if cold holds kept breaking off it it might get harder but uh, it, I don't think it's any harder than 27 it was it was burly definitely suited my climbing uh, but yeah I would I would say yeah sweet see you in the next one